But if YouTube, I'm gonna make a quick mail day for you. It's about nine o'clock at night. No, ten o'clock at night. Uh, it's really hot at this time. I'm gonna crack open a nice cold soda for you guys. It's really hot, so. Quick mail there, a bunch of Bur Cleveland Browns, Indian stuff, and some vintage. But I'm gonna start off with first this Topps Triple Threads Jake Delone, numbered out of 7.99. All these are for PC, by the way. Uh, this 2005 Leaf Rookies and Stars Longevity Charlie Fry and Braylon Edwards checklist. I picked all these up for like a buck, so. uh pretty happy about it. Uh, this one took a little bit longer. This one took about two weeks. I talked to the guys and they said their system failed or they got hacked or whatever. So they, I, I bought a five card 1984 Topps lot. It was a five card Browns lot. It was a... Uh, oh jeez. I got a Paul McDonald, a Clay Matthews, I guess you'd call these vintage. I mean, I don't know what everyone's definition of vintage is, but anything that's older than me, I think it's vintage. Oh, jeez. A Tom Cousineau. Nice Chip Banks. I don't know who this guy is, but Bobby Jones. All these are in perfect condition for 1984 tops. So, good addition to the Browns. And they threw in a little something extra due to the weight. They threw in a Gene Hickerson Hall of Fame card. So that was pretty sweet. Next, um, I'm thinking about putting this set together. I'm not sure yet, because, like I said, I don't have a ton of money. And some of these can go pretty... I mean, they're, they're not cheap, but, you know, they're not overly expensive. But the 2008 Bowman Chrome, I picked up Wes Hodges. I really like this design, the white b outline with the blue border. And then, obviously, the... Uh, the fake autograph and the chromage. I really like these. I'm thinking about putting this set together. I got like six or seven of these already. And I also got the Nate or Carlos Carrasco. And I have the Vin Mazzaro and oh geez. Vin Mazzaro, Nate Sherholtz, and I think a couple other of these. Um, I'm gonna make a for trade video, so if any of you have any of these and you're willing to trade them, please let me know. And today I had a nice little package from a wonderful PWE, plain white envelope, but the cards were in top loaders. They were in just the way they came. I understand it's not a bubble mailer, but as long as the cards are safe, I'm okay with that. I picked up two vintage cards. You can blame ASAC's Deuce 90 for getting me into this. He got me in this vintage kick lately, and I'm looking at a lot of vintage stuff lately. Um, I'm not sure if these are vintage, but I think they're vintage. I got a uh, 1977 Ferguson Jenkins. And, uh, you know, they're not perfect condition. They're not a 10. I'd probably give them like a 6, 5 or 6 maybe. These aren't for trade. I'm going to keep these. But 1977 for Her Ferguson Jenkins. And also a 1975 Jack Tatum. Uh, I picked both of these up for a dollar, which I was really, really happy about. Uh, the Jack Tatum is cut kind of off, but you can see it's, it's not perfectly cut, but big Jack Tatum fan. I like Jack Tatum. Um, like I said, nothing much, just a few base and inserts and whatever. I'm making for trade video in a little bit, so stay tuned.